Oh. My. God. As a hall was means and yeah. And we are back with another TF Boys drama talk signing soul episodes 11 through 14. I got on this right away. Like I watched all of them in the morning. As soon as I got up, I got in my Chinese mode and I was ready. I was watching all of them. I took notes as I watched every single one. So as I went through the episodes, I was writing notes down. So if you don't think so, I did it again. I got notes. I got more notes this time than I did last time. Prediction came true. Balbay's mom is giving him up. Hey, watch that. I didn't even get out of bed yet. I watched episodes 11 and 12 when I was still in bed. I didn't even get out of bed yet to do anything. I, as soon as I got up, I got my phone and I was watching it and I immediately started crying. I started my day off with crying. And that she doesn't, that she can't handle having him anymore, but he doesn't feel really anything or at least he's not sure how to feel oh my gosh something bad is happening to me but it's like still not really computing that much because he doesn't appear to be necessarily sad but he seems you know he obviously still wants to be around her because that shot that they did which was of you know her Finally, you know, her going to leave him there and walking away and he started following her and wanting and reaching his hand out to hold her hand. That was what really got me because she wasn't taking his hand and he was he wasn't really trying to necessarily go and grab her hand, but he was reaching out so that she would take it and she wasn't doing it, so all he was doing was just following her, waiting till she does it and she wasn't doing it and that made me tear up, I, I shed a tear. I just didn't want it to because Bowie's so cute. <laughs> like he's just the cutest little thing. How can you yell at something so precious? And you know, he is an AI, but you know, he still wants to be around you. You know, you're technically his family, his only family now. And so how could you just decide that you're going to abandon him in a mall? Why she gave him up was because some dude who knows her came up and started talking to her. And he's like, oh, you've got an AI over here. And she's just like, hmm. <laughs> like, it just got so awkward. And she just wanted the guy to stop talking. And he wouldn't stop talking. Dude. Be quiet, you're making her want to do something mean, stop. Just sitting across from her, just sitting there. And, you know, and that is one of the reasons why she wanted to, you know, she couldn't handle having him anymore, was because she, you know, like she wanted a real son. She wanted a son, uh, someone to be, you know, to have a family with. And then she gets, 249 and she realizes that having an AI for a son isn't all that it's cracked up to be. There's no real emotions. He's so, you know, he's still so robotic. He's not as robotic as, you know, like I said in the last video, those other AIs that you've seen that work in the stores and stuff, but he's still, you know, robotic and he doesn't eat or drink you know he can't do these normal things that other kids can't do these simple things with someone who's supposed to be her son and he's like someone described to me as it being the perfect son and it turns out it's not all that perfect you did commit yourself you did make a commitment to AI249 and gave him a name and you know you can't just throw that away because he's just a little too robotic but what that guy did <laughs> that came up to her was just not cool because he just basically it was in the back of her mind before she wasn't sure but after that incident she was like yeah i can't anymore um Li Chu found out that the teacher set up Junkai in the lab. 
that made me so mad because I never liked the teacher, okay? That teacher, I never liked her since the beginning. I just, something about her put me off. And then when she basically called out Junkai in the middle of the class, made him stand up and started blah, 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 to him, and then he's just all embarrassed, and then, you know, and then makes him say, you know, like, you just embarrassed him in front of a whole, uh, in front of all of his peers. That's not cool. And so that was when I really didn't like her. But, you know, she was just always you know, obviously did not like Junkai or, you know, she just, I, I don't know and I didn't know why and we still don't really know why, but Lee Chu found in the security cameras that she put something, she should something or put something there at Junkai's lab table that was going to make it catch on fire. So now we know that the fire thing was not Junkai's fault. It was the teacher's fault. And all I want to know is why oh so he's an ai or something and is trying to get him caught and kicked out she doesn't want him there you know like does she know or does she just simply not like him she has to have a reason for not liking one of her students and wants to get him in such trouble like that or to potentially hurt people so the only way they can know is that if you know is does she know that junka is an ai or not that would make more sense but it you know, but other than that, um, I guess all we can do is wait. And here we are back at this again, which is Chen Shi saying to his mom, his stepmom, I don't care what you call her, she's his mom now. And he literally said to her face in front of Wang Yan and Jun Kai, you're not my mother. That was just so cold how he said that. He just said it right to her face in front of his friends and was just like you're not my mother go die in a fire and walks off that was just so mean like she went to go pick him up from school she went you know she thought you know hey i'm gonna pick you up from school you know you and your friends you can you know they can come back to the house and yada yada and he's just like no i don't want you here and then you know he's just a teenager and he doesn't really understand and also i was talking about with other people saying you know that you know his father remarried and he didn't want her to, he didn't want him to because you know they said it you know I think it's obvious that his mom is dead <laughs> she either really abandoned him or she died they didn't really clearly explain where the mom went um is she either abandoned him and is never coming back or she did <laughs> and I, I'm just gonna take it that she died because Either way, she's not coming back, so she might as well be dead, and Chen is having a problem with coping with that, so he just has it in his head that she's coming back one day, and then all of a sudden, you know, like that open space was still there for his mom, who was never coming back, but he has this belief that she will, so to have this new sweet beautiful mom come in is just throws it all off and he's just like no this bot is for my mom not you and this problem with letting go of his mom or his fantasy of a mom or whatever it's just he's having a problem with that and it's so it's really just not his stepmom's fault but again like i said even if she's not his biological mom, she's still married to his father, she's still taking care of him and trying to be a good mom to him and he's just pushing her away and not accepting. It's like, dude, you don't have to like her or accept her as your mom, but you can at least respect her. I put stars next to this one and that is, um, I have to clear up something very important from the last video I did because I made a huge mistake for episodes 8 through 10, especially for episode 10, but maybe it was because I watched it when I was half asleep and my brain was not ready to Mandarin. A mistake, I mixed up two characters by accident and I w it left me so confused so this wasn't even um, a Chinese speaking issue understanding issue this was just me being half asleep and dumb issue Next up um, Wang Yan's mom and Jun Kai's mom by accident and that left me in a world of confusion so um, I mixed yeah I mixed them up so when Wang Yan's mom was talking to Jun Kai's dad 
that threw me off because I was watching it half asleep and I was like, wait, what? Because I, I, now I know when I, wa I had to watch it again to clear up the confusion I had and I was like, oh, I can't go back and fix it. So just ignore what I say in that part of the video because I was so dumb. I mixed them up. It was Wang Yan's mom talking to Jun Kai's dad, not Jun Kai's mom. So there's that clears up so much confusion for me as to, you know, and I need to know, but I still need to know, um, was Wang Yan's mom like a family friend or something? Because obviously she know he's you know, Jun Kai's dad's like, you know, hey, we haven't talked in a while. And uh, she also went to go see Jun Kai's mom and then they had a brief confusion of thinking that uh, Wang Yan was an AI because there's AI Yan and regular Wang Yan cinnamon roll. That's just a regular human who has no idea what's going on ever. So anyway, and also um, the other problem that I had was that the AI002 is AI Wang Yan. That I also, you know, I just got everything so mixed up in episode 10 because I was watching it falling asleep so my brain was not ready to do any comprehension of anything and I mixed everything up so now that that's all out of the way we can continue. There's this mastermind that we're seeing now that's uh, basically instant messaging with the AIs and he, you know he types a message to them and then they like type with their eyes somehow and the or their brain or I don't know and they're like instant messaging with this guy he's like the, I'm calling him in my notes the AI mastermind I don't know why but and he had a touching moment I had no idea what to think of him I'm like is he good I don't really know but he thinks of AI Wang Yan as his son that got to my feels so hard he's instant messaging AI Wang Yan who's busy charging himself he's he almost called him son he put in arts he was calling him son but then he that he then he backspaced it and just put zero zero two while we're still on AI Wang Yan uh, were AI Wang Yan and Junkai friends from before back to Lee Tu, uh, one of the small TF boys. He's so adorable, but he's so small. But um, his, there was this little hint. There was this big hint, actually, not a little hint, but a big hint uh, that shows that we're getting closer to Junkai finding out he's an AI. I think it might be the next episode or episode 16. I don't remember. Everyone's telling me I'm gonna cry when I watch episode 15 or 16, so I'm nervous to watch it now. His phone when he was showing the cam, the security cam, to Wang Yan and Junkai, Junkai took the phone, he took the phone and it immediately started malfunctioning. It started going like zzz, zzz, zzz. he gave the phone back to Li Chu and it went back to normal right away. So that was just a huge hint that he is an AI and doesn't know it. They have been saying it flat out since episode eight to ten or so so now it's all about it's only a matter of time before he figures it out I understand why the phone malfunction he's just like oh something's wrong with your phone and he's like really i don't think so and then it goes back to normal so whoo fly thing is back what does it mean and everyone's like it's gonna be explained later but i need to know like don't don't spoil it but i just need to know like where what was this significant butterfly that was there with you junkai like were you a butterfly in a past life About the butterfly room memory to chan chi and wang yan he was describing it and we got to see even more of it you know before we're just seeing quick glimpses and then short little shots and then we saw a lot more even though it wasn't in great detail we still saw a lot more which means we're gonna eventually see the entire thing and i'm excited for that because i need to know where this butterfly came from and why it's the only trigger to junkai's memory and junkai's like talking about it as if it were like some dream or vision that he was somewhere but he's not sure what and he's just Oh, he's so close to figuring out that he's an AI and I don't want him to. Why did his dad leave? <laughs> I only watched the episode one time, so maybe if I watch it again, I'll I'll figure out why. But his dad went somewhere and Wang Yan's having a big problem with accepting it. And, and his mom too, but they're like, uh, your dad left. 
to go somewhere important and they're like what Bukanang? you know like they're just Wang Yan's not taking it very well and Jun Kai and Chan Chi had to come in and they had to start the bromance and like don't worry dude we got you and we'll figure out what happened and so maybe that'll be explained if it wasn't necessarily explained yet but Either way, I'm excited. And now we're on our last point. Let's wrap this up. And this is possibly the most important point in this show. It was in episode 14, I believe. And that was Junkai's little English parts were so cute. It was the cutest thing ever. Like when um, he spelled out student, he said, you know, he spelled out S-T-U-D-E-N-T. -E and then when he was like, Student! It was just so cute. Then when the way he said W was so cute because he said it with like a Chinese accent. So it's you no know, student he said very clearly, but W he said double double you like double you. So it was very cute. Um, and I had to write that Junkai student and W in all caps too cute and then a cute little emoji with blushing cheeks. Sorry, I don't, I don't understand. That's about all I have for today. I, the next video is going to be for episodes 15 through 17. I'm ready to cry. Thank you all for watching this video. Xia xia da jia, wa ni man, and zai tian.